Good evening, everybody. My name is Chris, and welcome to another exciting episode of Let's Play a Minecraft on the Unoriginal Craft Server. Oh yeah! Uh, <laughs> in the last episode, I, was that the dragon fight? I think that was the dragon fight. Okay, so um, I got a lot of catching up to do here, you guys. Uh, there's been like stories that have been left half told. Mainly the pause on pause fiasco with me trying to, you know, go meet him. And that was like freaking forever ago at this point. But, um, I never got to finish that story. Because I started calling it and it was left on a cliffhanger. For, for those that don't know, my cows episode. Um, I talked about how pause on pause was coming to Winnipeg. Which is the city I live. Which is also the city Hugh, or his family lives. It doesn't say where he was born, but that's not true. At least I don't think so. But, um... He was going to do a meetup, and I wanted to pretty much meet him for, well, I should probably sleep, for uh, mostly to net, to attempt to network and potentially, you know, make a, <laughs> I, I was going to say business part on YouTube, but that's obviously, I mean, he's obviously way too uh, large of a person. I'm calling you Fat Paws. Just kidding, he's not watching this video, so, <laughs> but, um. Well, regardless, what I'm trying to get at here is, ooh, I thought I totally destroyed that. Is I never got to meet him. Um, that day happened where um, the meetup was there, and I really wanted to like. Those guys were just all sitting still, and that scared me. They were just they were, they weren't moving, man. That day came, and I really wanted to. Uh, go out during lunch at my work and go down to the forks and I calculated it that I would have about a half hour to do it if I were to rush if I you know skipped eating food and um wait what I, oh I want to make fences right those are fences right yes no that's a gate fence gate no that's a bad thing so yeah I calculated that if I just skip my lunch and don't eat and just uh say screw it and um, just go directly to where he was having his fan meetup thing. It would have been fine. It would have been fantastic. But um, so what ended up happening that day was we were very short-staffed. I believe two people called in sick. Neither of which ever call in sick, and like they have like a amazing track record of not skipping work. Um, so we were severely understaffed. I'm like, okay, this is really crappy, but if I work very quickly, I could still do this. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, so I just had to just work as quickly as I could possibly work and finish up everything as fast as I possibly could at work. And for those that don't know, I work at a, a tire shop. I change customers' uh, tires on their cars all day. <laughs> And, um, so yeah, I was working, working, oh, I, I just said working, I am Russian now, yeah, yeah, is that German, that might be German, I, I don't freak know, but, but anyways, so I was working very, very, like, um, crazy to attempt to, like, catch up, and I was, like, the entire day, um, or my entire morning, I was working as hard as possible to catch up. And get ahead enough so I could actually go on lunch. Because what happens if we're like you know we're too far behind at work is we don't get lunches, which I mean sounds horrible to some people for those that aren't in the workforce. But it's it's really quite common if you know if there's no time to take lunch, then kind of sucks to be you. <laughs> so um, I was far. Oh, you guys might be able to see that. Go away, freaking stupid thing popped up on my screen notification actually I'm not sure if you guys will see that I'm using way too much oak wood I don't have any other wood right now though that's my issue well, I guess I could use more birch but uh yeah so I was finally like I was I was doing really good I was working harder than I've ever worked in my life to the point where I was almost feeling sick and it was finally time where like I, I even asked people like around the, like my work where I was like please I need to go on lunch at this specific time I'm meeting someone very important to me let's actually try a little pattern here I'm meeting someone very important to me that's not gonna work uh, how do I even really want to do this 
See, I was gonna make a little canopy here to, you know, I'll just do this. I was gonna actually like make a little roof on here, but I was gonna actually put like the uh, enchanting table and the books all up here. By the way, this is my enchanting quote unquote room. <laughs> For those that haven't figured that out yet, but um, yeah. So I was, I was asking like to make sure that like you know for people that they know I need to go on lunch at this time because they need to meet somebody. Everyone's like, okay, okay, we'll try and do our best to be able to get you to, you know, go on lunch at that sp specific time, that Pacific Ocean time. And it, f it, it was about to happen. <laughs> it was about to happen, man. But, um, right, like, within maybe, I would say, two minutes before I was about to go. Uh, all of a sudden, one of our people that, damn it, one of the only few other people that were there came rushing to the room. We're like, I need to go home. And they're like, what, what, why Why do you need to go home? My, I have a family emergency. So, they had to leave, and I was left <laughs> not, not being able to go on lunch, and it was very sad for me. And by the way, I apologize. I'm being kind of quiet. Uh, my father's sleeping. <sighs> But it's been so long since I've recorded an episode. I've really, like, I've had so many things I've wanted to talk about that I just said, screw it, I'm just going to record. So, yeah. So, I mean, obviously, family emergencies take priority over meeting someone I could maybe network with. So, unfortunately, I did not get to go. I'm so sad about it because I'm like, well, I mean, he'll be coming back to Winnipeg sometime. He has to. His family lives here. Maybe he'll do another meetup. Well, fast forward to a few weeks later. Actually, just this Saturday, when I was listening to the Minecraft podcast, where Pauls actually talks about his meeting, and um, turns out he's probably not going to do another one. <laughs> uh, how's that looking? That's kind of cool. Actually, I'm really curious. How how far does this go out? I've, I have a depth strider, so this makes swimming kind of easy. Thankfully, I think I'm actually rendering this in. But yeah, he talks about that. He probably won't do another one, which is really unfortunate. Because I really want to meet him. And I mean, he might just say, oh, why not just go to like Minecon or something. I don't really like... <laughs> oh, that's a freaking temple! No way. I think so, right? It's gotta be. I, I knew it. I knew there'd be... I kept talking about like every single episode. I'm like, is that, is that a freaking temple thing? I don't know if you guys can really see that. You probably can. You just see weird, like, lighting stuff over there. It's junk. Oh, that's cool. This is a cave, too. Oh, it's not a cave. Although, I really like this little tiny island. That's cool. I really like how there's a bunch of, like, tiny islands in this area. I keep expecting to see, like, a cave there. Oh, man, I've never actually seen one of these before, personally. So cool. I know they make scary noises. Oh, there's one right here. Hello, asshole. Did they drop anything? Let's see. I really want to see what you guys drop. I don't. I'm not getting any noises. Oh, there we go. There we go. They make a weird, scary sound on your. There we go. Okay, that that is kind of creepy, actually. They give you like mining fatigue or some junk. Yay, fishies! They gave me fish. <laughs> oh no, I'm really disoriented now. Uh oh, which way is the temple? Oh, it's over there. So, I think I want to swim this way, right? Please. Oh no. Uh oh, that's the island I was on, right? Oh, look how s slow I strike my sword. And if you look at the top right, actually, you'll see the uh, the whole dealio with being able being able to see side effects on your bar. Holy crap! Four twenty. Blaze it. Jeez, man. Some crazy places here. Some crazy places. Alright, well, I don't know where my home is anymore. <laughs> I guess I'm just lost forever. Ooh. Santa could punch. Oh, man. No. Oh, my good lord. That's horrible. Give me a spoon. Holy crap. That's so bad. Wow. Wow. Okay, you know what? I thought it would maybe like half the speed, but that's that's way less than half. Wow, there's no chickens here. Hi, hey, little guys. Buck, 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 buck. I think I'm still rendering in 
Dang, I don't know which way home is. That's concerning. Ah, uh, I have the worst sense of direction. If I didn't go and freaking fight that guy, I would have been fine. Should I make a boat? Oh, there's a bunny over there. I just saw a weird black thing. Is it a donkey, maybe? It looks kind of big to be a rabbit, doesn't it? I think it's a donkey. I think it's a donkey. They are donkeys. Cool. Yeehaw. <laughs> Hope you guys are liking my little impromptu exploring episode. Wow, what's with all these just freaking drops? Man. Alright, let's make a let's make a boat. But yeah, so unfortunately I didn't get me pause and pause. I don't know what my co-worker's family emergency was. Um, he seemed pretty okay the next day. Like he seemed like normal him. And he's kind of normally an asshole. So everything looked fine to me, but <sighs> you guys still have a little bit sad about this. <laughs> I was gonna try and get that back, but there's no way I'm getting it back. Alright, let's uh Where's this temple? Oh man, it's get turning night too. This is the worst. My phone's vibrating. Stupid phone. Stupid monkey. Alright, there's the temple. So I know it's almost an eye shot of the temple. <laughs> is it that way? Maybe it's that way. Let's go this way. I don't even know if this is quicker. Ah, oh, it's definitely quicker than my Death Strider boots. There's lime shades in there. I swear, if I like post this episode and someone comes and robs me of this, of this glorious booty, that'd be horrible. Actually, Mr. Green Hippo has been asking me if I want to do a a uh, temple with him. One of these temples, I have a water temple. Maybe, are they water temples? I don't know. He's asked me if I want to do a water temple, and I said sure, so maybe, I don't know, unless he found one himself, maybe we'll either do this one, or his, or something. I don't know. But yeah, so there, there's an exciting conclusion to meeting Paws and Paws. I did see, um, on his Twitter, like, 40 people attended that, which, I, that, that was shocking to me. Which maybe might be, like, you know, enough cause for him to eventually do another one again, but there's the whole thing where he's having his first child in a few months. Well, I don't know if it's in a few months, but eventually, <laughs> probably way before he comes back to Winnipeg. So I doubt he's going to do a meetup anytime soon again, which is really unfortunate. It makes me really sad. Is that home? No, that's a sand dune. Yeah, that's a sand dune. I think I'm rendering in more world. <sighs> Leave it to me to get lost like this, man. Close to I really actually like, though, how it's like archipelagos. That's not how you pronounce that word, but that's how I'm pronouncing it. Oh, what is this? Oh, those are just normal trees. I thought that was dark oak wood. Is that dark oak? No, can't be, right? The wood looks really dark. Huh. Anyways, let's turn around. Is that a flower field? Silly zombie. The obelisk. This, I like these little islands. They're really cool. I think there's an enderman up there. Alright, let's go this way again. I can't believe I'm lost, you guys. This is stupid. It was really stupid. <sighs> but yeah, so anyways, on the Minecraft podcast, Pause and Pause was pretty much saying that he probably won't do another one, and that he only did this one just so people could finally, like, you know, stop asking him to do it. <laughs> or something. That was the impression I got anyways. He didn't say that, like, exactly in those words, because I kind of said it like he was being a dick, but... Well, not really a dick, but, you know. That one little sand block over there looks like it's glowing. This terrain generation looks really cool, though. I really like how, like, just little islands poking up all over the place. Creeper! Oh, great. Now I've lost sight of the freaking temple as well. I don't know where I am in relation to it anymore. <sighs> so, yeah, there, there's that final... Oh, there it is. Conclusion to that story. So I could stop... I could cross it off my list. You guys hear my paper rattling? I actually have piece of paper now that I write stuff down when I think of things I want to talk about in my episodes. I have a, I have, I have a long list. <laughs> uh, um, I do actually eventually want to do like questions. Like answer like, when you wipe your butt after you poop, do you, do you stand or do you sit? Which is like a very hotly debated thing on Minecraft as well, but let's see how close I get to these guys. They look really weird. Uh oh, he's aiming. If he shot my boat, I'd be so sad. I feel like that's the island there, right? 
No, that's rendering in too, I think. It's kind of... A lot of people could just tell when you're generating new worlds, but I, I have a hard time with that. Whoa, I just freaking stopped moving. I think this is new land. Oh, this is just another island. Should I just look up where to go? I think I have a screenshot somewhere. <sighs> I'll be right back, you guys. Alright, I'm back. Oops, I didn't mean to put T there. So I know where I'm going now, kind of. I should have probably actually pinpoint which direction to go before starting to record again. Oopsies. Do I wanna go this way? I don't wanna I wanna go like south, man. Just gotta go south. Right? South the right way? Wait, south is south the right way? No, it's not. South is the wrong way. I wanna go this way. No, turn it around, boot. <laughs> That's kinda funny how you can do like spin arounds in these boats. I'm gonna keep the coordinates up on screen for a bit, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh there we go. Jeez, I was like right here too. Man, I would have found this place eventually. Probably not. Let's face it, I'm stupid. <laughs> I think in between this episode and the next one, I'm going to have to go collect more wood. Specifically like the dark oak saplings or dark oak wood stuff. Because I'm tired of just using birch and freaking oak wood. It was nice to finally have a boat here though. That will definitely be useful. Uh, so what else is on my list here? Five nights at Freddy's. Mm-hmm. The second night. What else does it say? Recording issues. Right. <laughs> like I just read that entire thing off to you guys. Like you guys care. <laughs> what the heck is this? What the? Probably need a fourth one to do anything with it. I wonder what that makes. I kind of feel like it makes lighting blocks. But it might also just make the non lady blocks. Also, I'm really happy that my mining fatigue wore off finally. Yay! I mean, if it really came to it, I could just found a cow and milked it, but oh well. But uh, yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, that game is difficult, <laughs> or I just don't know how to play it. It's probably that one, to be honest. I want you. I want you! Oh man, I just got a freaking huge heat wave for some reason. But yeah, anyways, Five Nights at Freddy's. So I've had a horrendous time trying to record that. Probably a big reason is that um, it's my first time recording a horror game in a while. And recording horror games is always a bit wonky. Because, like, you know, when you play a whole bunch of, like, indie horror games, well, Five Nights at Freddy's isn't really so much indie anymore when it's, like, you know, it's a game. Why can I not place this? This is stupid. Can I place it now? No, it. Uh, uh, I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill Freddy guy. I'm gonna kill that Freddy guy. You'll you'll see. You'll see. Like the, the evil Freddy guy, not like a person named Freddy, because that'd, that'd be crazy. Uh, but anyways, for some reason, uh, actually, I'm pretty sure I talked about this in the episode itself. But um, whenever you or some games. They record in win or they only open in window windowed mode, which if you don't know, it essentially means you could see like your taskbar and all that. Um, and I've always found that really stupid for horror games, cause like if you're in full screen, you're completely immersed into the game, right? What what even what what happened here? What what happened? Although that might be kind of cool, a little crack, a little butt quack. I don't know how this happened, but we'll live with it for now. Let's see if we could recreate that over here. I think that worked. <laughs> but, um... Uh, I hit my funny bone, I'm sorry. Uh, f yeah, for some reason, that game just records really weird. It, whenever, like, it'll look okay on my screen, but then I'll look at the recording and it'll, like, have... The, the um like the game but four times <sighs> it'll be separating the four squares i don't know why i'm horrible at parkour apparently i want oak sl or, uh willow slabs birch slabs but um yeah so whenever i record that game as well i would have issues where do I have, yeah, I think I have all I need here. I'd have issues where, um, 
crap, what was I going to say? Now I lost my train of thought here. Oh yeah, whenever I try to open up my editing software, for whatever stupid reason, it, would, it wouldn't be able to read it. It would just be like, uh, nope, this is not a file I can read, and then it would just, like, cra it would crash my freaking editing software. Which, gotta say, not very fun. I think I want to raise that one more. Let's try that out. Well, actually, I guess we just do it like this. Yeah! Mm hmm And then this one as well. Yeah! <laughs> so, yeah, I was actually talking to Mr. Green Hippo as well about Five Nights at Freddy's. Well, I wasn't really talking to him, but I think he just commented on it somewhere. Where he pretty much told me that he thinks the reason why I'm dying on night two still is I'm not shining my flashlight for long enough or something. I don't know. The way he commented it made, made him sound very unsure of himself too, so I'm really... Wondering how the heck that game works and why is it so stupidly complicated? <laughs> um, oh, I, I think I'm seriously the only person having this problem. I mean, I haven't really watched anyone play that game yet. The only person I saw was uh, I, I skimmed through a market player video, which convinced me to get the game and try it out, which didn't cost me any money, surprisingly enough. But I guess that's just because it's in demo mode still. But um, yeah. I wonder if it'd be worth it to put a stair here. Just to put another crack on the top here. Another crack. Crack man. I'm a crack man. Yeah, I'm a crack man. I wonder if the rain will fall through this or not. No, that's not going to work. Does that look... No, okay. Well, whatever. That's okay. That'll stay like that. It's incorrect, but that's okay. <laughs> Can we make an enchanting table? Can we make an enchanting table? I said that with kind of a British accent. Did you guys see that? <clears throat> so, I um, fought the final boss in Splatoon. <laughs> you guys won't see that till well. I don't really po post Splatoon on a uh, regular basis. I pretty much post it when uh, I don't have much else to upload that day, and I feel like I haven't posted in a while. <laughs> so. Yeah, uh, I believe it's episode 21 where I fight the final boss, and wow. People have been saying, like, how great that boss is, and I gotta actually say it lived up to its hype. Um, it took me, like, an hour and a half to beat, though, which is pretty sad because it's a pretty easy boss, but just trying to learn it was very difficult for me. I had a really bad time. <laughs> That's funny. That guy I killed, I totally thought he gave me just a bunch of fish, but no, he gave me prismarine shards. Everyone loves prismarine shards. What am I here for? Oh, that's right. I need to make an enchanting table. Where do I have stuff for an enchanting table? Also, do I have books? This is these are all all questions I do not have the answer to. <laughs> Sit in. <clears throat> I need leather as well. Leather, leather, all down here. I'm stupid. And diamond. I'm scratching my nose. Get you news. Okay, so let's see if I can remember how to do this. Okay, so we need, I know we need a book. A book. Oh man, is it this? And this? This just looks wrong. Do I need more obsidian? Ah oh, no. I've made one on the fly before too. Ah, oh, this looks very wrong, doesn't it? Oh man, you guys are freaking. You guys know how to do this, and you're just laughing at me. I know it takes a book and a diamond, right? Because that's why people are always like going, trying to go for four diamonds UHC, three for a pickaxe and my dibs. Okay, I got really scared there because I heard sounds and I thought it was coming through my computer. And not my, my, uh, my, uh, yeah, I thought it was coming through my computer instead of my headphones, which would have been bad for editing purposes. How does, how does this work? Do I need two books? No. Because there's only one book on the internet. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. You don't need freaking, wait, how does this work? Wow, this is so freaking difficult for me to figure out for some reason. You don't need freaking four diamonds, you need five. 
Look at that, I'm an enchanter now. Feast upon my glory. Feast upon it with the seeds. Oh yeah. I don't know why I'm so creepy. I don't know why I'm creepy in the nighttime. That's a reference no one's gonna understand. Let's um feed some assholes. <laughs> Whoa, that scared me for some reason. I did not expect them to all scream at me at once. The scream of the thousand lost souls. I thought they all shifted as I moved. <laughs> uh, anyways. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make too many bookcases, but let's make what we can. Let us make what we can. And be very happy about it. Uh-huh. Just eight, really. That's pathetic. No. No. Uh, wow, we can make two bookcases. That's pretty sad. <laughs> Well, well, at least I know how to make bookcases, right? That counts for something, right, you guys? I'm a librarian. Yay! Yay! Oh, I picked up the freaking sacrificial seeds of destiny and doom. <sighs> so I eventually want to have villagers out here in this village, of course. I don't know when that will happen, but eventually. <laughs> hmm. At least, hey, I've, I've probably already made more progress on this place. Than I have in my, um, in my, in my, why, why did I do that for? Eh. On my, then on my house on season one map. I don't know why I'm having so many issues talking. I'm really tired, you guys. I've been actually falling asleep on my computer desk because I was trying to edit today. Mostly because I just had a long shift at work. How many things do you ask me for? Six. I'm breaking. No! Um, so, I really wanted to record today, but I also had a lot of other things to do. Like, I'm really behind on editing now, so, since my trip really threw me off. Which, I didn't even talk about this episode. I actually had, I have them down my list, but there's other things I wanted to finish talking about first before starting new things. Such as the Five Nights at Freddy's things. And, but mostly the pause and pause thing. But, um, anyways, I think I'm at my time limit here. Well, not quite, but I've done pretty much what I wanted to today. <clears throat> Stupid me, I should have gotten a screenshot when I saw that temple. That would have been cool. Maybe I'll go do that after this. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It's the best way to support my channel. I apologize if you found this episode boring because my mundane voice, but like I said, I was trying to be quiet and not be too uppity because I did not want to wake my father because when I wake him up, he punches me in the face and it doesn't feel very nice. Yay, seeds! So, um, I'm sure I'll talk to you guys in a few days. So, see you guys next time.